The next thing that we are going to talk is properties that I told you before and the icon of that is here that you can use it. And as I told you, you can just replace the places by this sign. You can choose everything that you want with due attention to the elements that you choose. And you can check the elements and everything that you want here by the format that you've extracted by the software you've used before. Like this. For example, for AutoCAD, it shows like here. And then if I choose the Revit file, or even if I just choose the next file that is here, and it is a little heavier than the other files in size, and of course, more complete. Then I choose it, and like this, you can just see the information that you want. And this is the joint, like this. You know, just the point that you have to pay attention to is the properties window has some tabs that you can see them here, and you can use them. Actually, this is the information that has been generally shown to you. Let's change the screen of the window. Let's change the program and let's go to another program to show something to you. And here you can see the information. There is some information that actually is the internal feature of Navisworks. Or another name, we can say default properties. That uh, It is hidden actually by default. And if you want to activate it, you should go to Application menu and then choose Options. And if you do any changes here, it will be permanently done. Uh, let's go to Interface tab and then let's go to Developer. The icon of Show Property Internal, na internal Names. And then by this work, you can see the information and features that you need in parentheses here. Uh, yes, and then let's go here. Look at here, please. You know, actually, uh, they might not be a lot practical to you just when we want to talk about the quantifications and some mappings, for example, then they, they can be practical on that time, maybe. You know, of course, in future, we will talk about the quantification and we'll talk about mapping for you. But for now, just because uh, totally it will just make the program very busy and we can't just be concentrated a lot. So that's not that interesting. The interesting point in properties window is the features. When you just have right click on this window, you will see some samples. And if here you have a right click and like this, if you have right click here, you will see these items and you just have right click on the texts, you will see this icon. And these items so now let's see what they are exactly let's go to item uh, I can sorry tab and then just let's see the right let's have a right click if you have right click on value then you will you can you can uh, just copy the values there let me open a notepad that I can show it to you if I copy just that value and then I will just paste it here you can see the notepad then uh, you know this is really practical because in future you will need to copy the whole text or the whole sentence and just paste it in another part to find what you want exactly because actually typing of that is really hard and copying of that is really nice so now again I will have a right click if you choose copy row then uh, until property row all of them are copied there and all of them I mean so I'll have right click on it and call copy row and as you can see this is host level and the, uh, the code in front of that so let's have a right click again and let's go for copy all then all of the items are copied This is the name type till the end. Uh, here, if you see, just we have edit link. We can open a window here and uh, you can add a link to that. I'm not going to talk about that we have because we have icon a link here. And in future, we will talk about that. And then here, just I have a right click again and I have a, an option in the name of add new user data tab. And that is really important. We have some actually tabs here. Let me close the extra windows. 
and then maximize it let me choose this file that I want to just work easier by that and I will talk about it of course in the next part